Hey guys, welcome back to Chasing the Woodsman. I am Ryan. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's going to be a shorter video and a how-to video. I'm going to be taking you through what it looks like to change the oil on the CK30, a Coyote CK30. It's an older model, 2009. Uh, when looking through YouTube, there's not too many videos on this model of the tractor, this older tractor. It's low miles, been barely used. I think I put most of the miles on it. Second owner. It's been a great little tractor, but I just wanted to kind of take you through what it looks like to change the oil on these things. Let's get started. This is really quite a simple job on these Coyote CK30s. The bonnet release is right down here on the front right hand side of the tractor. Compact motor. Oil is filled right here in the very center of the top. Oil filter is easily accessible from the side. And there's two bolts to remove down below here. You'll see here just in a second. I took and I purchased the Coyote filter and then their, their diesel engine oil they had on hand there. They recommend for this motor 15. W40. All right, so we're gonna get started here. These are 19 millimeter. Make sure I'm actually loosening that tightening. Okay. Get these draining. bit overdue it's pretty black this one draining Drag. Yeah, I got the tool. You got a tool, buddy? Yeah. I'm going to switch up here. I already loosened the oil filter. And while that's draining out, I'll take and prep my new oil and get these grease zerks greased up with new new oil around my my bucket and boom. Like any other filter, make sure you get a little oil on this gasket. And only screw it on there hand tight. In case you forget, Coyote is kind enough to put, put a sign right in the side of the frame here. Tells you to do just that. Coyote eat garbage. Yeah, buddy. Put my hand tight. Once that's drained, make sure you get your bolts back in. Thank you. 
and put in new. These take six quarts. All right, guys, that does it for the video today. Thanks for joining me. It really is quite a simple job. It just takes six quarts of oil, a new filter. I grease the Zerks. One thing I didn't get done is I wanted to change my fuel filter. I'll get that done later when I get back into town and can pick one up. It's good for you guys in these colder climates to get in the habit of every spring to change these things out just because of the condensation within within that filter, within the gas lines, everything like, like that. So if you're in a northern climate like me and it gets quite cold, just get in that habit in the springtime to change that out. Otherwise, that's it. I'm gonna get going on some of my other projects. I need to get some logs milled so I can get some boards screwed down to this playground deck and then move on to some other springtime projects. Give me a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Be blessed in all you do.